Hi, I'm Ravi, Ravi Handa. I'm the founder of the website handagafanda.com where we have various online courses for CAT and other competitive exams. In this particular video, as a matter of fact, in this series of videos, we will be talking about the complete CAT syllabus. This is the second video in the series. In the first video, we talked about what is the sectional breakup, what was the breakup of the quantitative aptitude portion, what was the breakup of the verbal aptitude portion, and we discussed all of that in great amount of detail. So if you haven't seen that video, I would suggest you watch that first and then come to this one. And what are we going to do in this particular video? We will be talking about one of the topics in great amount of detail and that topic for today is number system. Now, in number system, people often wonder what exactly is the kind of questions that get asked. So I've divided the questions in these parts or in these categories. Now, for understanding number system, you first need to understand the basic properties of numbers. So say for example, what are integers, what are even numbers, let's say an odd number raised to an even power would be even or odd and various stuff like that. Which numbers can be a perfect square? What does a perfect square end in? What should be the second last digit of a perfect square? Stuff like that. These are the things which help you eliminate options. You should also be very comfortable with divisibility rules. Say for example, what is the divisibility rule for 2? What is the divisibility rule for 4, 8? This is stuff that people know. 5 is again something that 5, 25 is something that people are comfortable with. Going forward, people are still very comfortable with 3 and 9. But let's say 11 or let's say if you get to 99 or let's say if you get to 101, these are also some of the divisibility rules that you should be clear about. Factor theory essentially deals with finding out the number of factors, how many of the factors are co-prime and how many ways you can express a number as a product of two factors or as a product of two co-prime factors. Let's say if you are given a number n, then how many of those factors of n are divisible by 12 or how many of those factors are divisible by 15, stuff like that. HCF, LCM, again, uh, the concepts are very simple, but the application can be a little complex. People sometimes don't understand as to where HCF is to be used and where LCM has to be used. So this is some portion which will require a lot of practice. As a matter of fact, most of the questions that do get asked on number system and you might be surprised to know are broadly based on these four subtopics. It is a very common misconception that they are based on the other topics. I will also deal with the other topics now. So finding out the last digit or finding out the last two digits, last digit can help you eliminate options, but where very rarely you will get a question on finding out the last digit. Finding out the last two digits, it's almost rare, very, very rare to get a question on finding out the last two digits. But people still try and learn that. Why do they do that? Because it looks impressive. Trust me, it's not going to add a lot of value. From my memory, I think only in 2007 or 2008, there was one particular question which was asked on how to find out the last two digits. And even in that question, if you had simply followed the concepts of cyclicity, now you might not know what that is, but let's say if you knew how to find out the last digit for that particular question, you could have used just that concept and found out the answer. Some of the other types of questions which have been asked, again, rarely, not common is find out the number of trailing zeros. Now, uh, there are variations of this that find out the highest power of a number in a factorial, which uses more or less the same concept as number of trailing zeros. What does not get asked? Very important. Please note that finding out the rightmost non-zero digit or finding out the two rightmost non-zero digits in a factorial or anything like that which requires a complex formula or an application that will never get asked. If you are comfortable finding out the trailing zeros or finding out the power of a number in a factorial, that is all you need to know. Once again, as said before, this is one of the low priority options. 
finding out remainders again people spend huge amount of time on this they learn something called the wilson's theorem they learn something called the euler's theorem then they learn applications of the fermat theorem all that to be really honest is pretty useless you will never get questions on it it's uh, it's it's not just rare but i do not remember a single time an application of wilson's theorem was asked or an application of fermat theorem was asked all you need to do to find out the remainders is use some basic concepts of cyclicity that you would have learned here in finding out the last digit or some of the divisibility rules that you would have learned earlier or maybe something like a to the power n plus b to the power n is it divisible by a plus b or not some of those very basic formulas very basic applications are used in finding out remainders knowing wilson's is nice but not required knowing euler yes you can solve some of the questions which appear in one of the difficult mocks but it's not going to help you with cat so please note please try and understand this that cat as an exam is not trying to test your knowledge of numbers or your knowledge of quant it's just trying to test your basic abilities or how good your basics are. and for that knowing more theorems like euler and fermat is not going to help if you are doing that if you are seeing complex questions like 37 to the power of 37 to the power of 37 divided by 7 what would be the remainder if you know how to solve this you are probably wasting your time or you have probably wasted your time if you don't know how to solve this let's say you don't need to learn avoid that skip that you can concentrate on areas of higher importance base systems once again rarely you get a question uh, which is on basis and even if you do it uh, uses the very simple and the very basic concepts of base system nothing to advance if you know how to convert from binary to octal and from octal to binary or let's say from base 10 to base x and from base x to back you should be comfortable with it an application of these concepts might be asked but once again it is rare see the entire reason of making this particular video is simply this a lot of cat aspirants waste a lot of time on number system they concentrate on the wrong things i have written articles about and i have made videos about finding the rightmost non zero digit of a factorial to be honest i was wrong it is not going to help you in cat i have written theorems i have made videos on using the wilson's theorem once again not really helpful for cat maybe it will help you in zat which is a slightly more complex paper maybe it will help you in getting doing better in mocks but for cat primarily in number system all that you need to be good with is the first part of number system the factor theory the divisibility rules the hcf lcm base systems a little bit finding out last digit yes you need to be good with that because it will help you eliminate options and sometimes solve questions the other stuff i'm sorry to burst your bubble not so much you are wasting your time or you may be wasting your time i hope you see this video before you have spent too much time on that Hope you learned something from this video. Once again, I'm Ravi Ravi Handa, founder of handakafanda.com. Signing off, and don't forget to check out our website handakafanda.com and also have a look at our online cat coaching course. Hope to see you there. Thank you.